I keep hearing squeaking upstairs and it keeps distracting me because I know I'm home alone. Do you guys hear that? Hello? friends, welcome back. It's me, Katie, and the ghost upstairs. And today, I'm going to be going through most of my clothing and trying to get rid of at least half of it for when I move into this apartment. But for now, I brought a lot of it from my house because there are people at my house, there's my sister, and couldn't focus. And then here, there's the ghost upstairs. So I hope he's nice, or she. I'm just going to be going through, I'm going to maybe explain some things, why I'm keeping it, why I'm getting rid of it, and there's some things I'll just throw in the pile. Yeah, my goal's at least half. So starting off, I have this shirt. Um, I got it here at a local secondhand store. It's originally from Forever 21. I do like it a lot, so I think I'm going to keep it. So Natalie gave me this dress. Um, when I was a senior in high school. This doesn't fit anymore, like, it's really, really tight on me. Like, it's super short, it used to be knee length, and now it's like mid-thigh. That one's gonna have to go. And then next is this shirt. Uh, and his parents gave it to me for Christmas this year. And I wear it to sleep, because it is a bit large on me. Some bras that I'm getting rid of. We don't need to look at them, I just know. Oh, here's another one. They're horrible. Every time I wear any of those four, I always say I'm gonna throw it out. Maybe someone else will love them, but I am not that person. Next, I have this sweater. It shows my stomach a little bit, but I like the colors. This color combo I wear very often. Um, most of my clothing will also match this. So, excuse me, I think I'm gonna keep that. Next, I have this shirt, and it comes down in the front, and it has like, you can't really see it, but it has a big dip in the front. And it's cute, and I've had it for several, several years. I think I got it when I was a sophomore in high school, and I'm currently a sophomore in college. And so I have had it for quite a while. It's pretty big on me, but it is very comfortable. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Next, I have this black long sleeve shirt, and it has lace on the sleeves and around the neck. It's very form-fitting, and I do really, really like it. Most of my clothing is either given to me or I will get it at a secondhand store. It's very rare that I buy clothing from like the mall or Target and when I do I try to be mindful and try to look in a secondhand store first before buying whatever I'm looking for. So I think that's a secondhand um, purchase. Okay, next I have this shirt. It says Utah Valley on it. Um, this is the first college I attended. I have since attended two other colleges, and I do wear it to sleep. I don't really wear it out. I do sometimes, but not really, just because it has a stain on it. So I think I'm actually going to keep that one. I bought it when I was starting um, an adventure that then closed. This is Hens's. All right, next I have this crop top. It says Let It Be on it, and I actually got this when I was in Paris. Um... I got it when I was 18 years old on the Champs-Élysées, so I'm going to keep it. Next, I have this shirt, and it says Campfire S'mores and Hot Chocolate, hashtag autumn. It is very cute, but it is currently February, and it's also been 80 degrees out for about a week now. I'm in Arizona. We don't have a fall, so I think I'm going to actually let this go. Next, I have this Minnie Mouse shirt. It's pretty cute. I don't wear it so I think I'm actually gonna have to let it go just because there's no point in keeping it if I'm not gonna wear it next we have this shirt which I wore for the move-in video for the last video I posted I did notice I don't like how it looks on me in the video I think I'm gonna keep it I probably just won't film in it because I just didn't like how it looks but I do like wearing it so next I have these PJ shorts which have a bunch of letters on them and they go with 
this PJ top, which has, you can't really see it, but it says Ouija on top, and it has the Ouija board um, print on it. And I think I'm going to keep these. Next, I have this blue shirt. It's long sleeves, and it has the cold shoulders, and it says, live a life you love. And I do wear this very, very often, both in winter and in summer. So I'm going to hang on to it just because how often I wear it. All right, so next we have this shirt. It has a fox wearing um, some glasses on it. It is very cute. I got it when I was a sophomore in high school. Again, from a secondhand store. I believe twice is nice again. And I think I'm actually going to keep it just because I do wear it a lot. Not so much in summertime, which we're starting to get to again, but I definitely wear it a lot in the winter. Next, I have a high school t-shirt that I got my senior year from my school. It says college bound on it, and it has our high school mascot. I do wear it a lot to work and just when I do chores, like cleaning, and so I'm going to hang on to that. Next, I have this black shirt which has the logo of where I work during the day and it says Pottery USA quality craftsmanship and when I got this shirt it was actually a triple L and then hence his mom she helped me to hem it so it's down to a size petite now and when I got it it was like triple the size that it is right now so I'm gonna hold on to this one next I have this flannel only it has the back that you can see directly through it it's lace and I think I'm going to pass it on let someone else love it just because the back doesn't really do it for me anymore next I have this yellow button-up shirt it has flowers on it I got this for Halloween when Hence and I were Ellie and Carl from up and I haven't worn it since then I got this from thread up online another secondhand store and I think I'm going to pass it on let someone else love it because I don't love it anymore so someone else will Next, I have these PJ bottoms. They are given to me by my aunt. Um, I believe they were hers before she gave them to me. And I still wear them a lot. So I'm just going to keep wearing them until I can't wear them anymore. Next, I have this red long sleeve shirt. It says Old Navy on it. So I think I'm going to let that one go just because I don't want to walk around. Being a walking advertisement for Old Navy. Next, I have this long sleeve shirt. Um, I got it when I was in Utah. It's just really heavy. Again, I live in Arizona. I don't need it, so I'm going to pass it on, and maybe someone who doesn't need it can find it. Next, I have this dress. It has roses on it. I like this dress a lot. Unfortunately, my taste in clothing has just changed so much. It is above my mid-thigh, which is just really, really short for me, and so I'm going to let someone else love it as much as I do. Next, I have this dress. It has roses on it again. It has an open back and a belt. And this is cute. I got it for pretty cheap. Only it's slightly see-through and it doesn't fit me. So someone else would love it though. I have this. It's a PJ top. I wear this pretty often. So I'm going to keep that. Next I have these PJ pants. Hence his mom made me these. I'm going to keep that. Let's see. Tenses. Next, I have this PJ shirt. It says, Not Today Cupid. I got this when I was a senior in high school, and so I think I'm going to hold on to that. Next, I have another Mickey Mouse shirt. I wear this one very often. Um, mostly to sleep, but I do wear it out, so I'm going to hold on to that. Next, I have this pink hoodie. It has a planet on it. I do like this. The only thing is, it doesn't have sleeves on the front. So that's kind of annoying to me. I am going to send a text to um, my friend because I think she's going to like this. So I'm going to put that aside here, see if she wants it. Okay, so this shirt is very similar to the Old Navy one that I just put in the giveaway pile. And I think I'm going to put this one there too. This just isn't my color. It doesn't look good on me. It makes me look like a lobster. So someone else who has better undertones for the shirt is going to love it. Next, I have this white long sleeve shirt. It goes down really low, it's super thin, not attractive. I think it makes me look really fat. Like just, it's not attractive, so this is going away. This is Hence's. 
light blue shirt that I really do love these shirts. I have a yellow one just like it and I wear them all the time. They're very versatile. They go with most things so I'm going to keep it. You guys, this is my ex's shirt. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to keep it. Is that weird? If that's weird, comment below. I think I'm going to keep it. I have this Arizona Sun Devil shirt on it, which maybe I should get rid of it because we don't like the Sun Devils here in Arizona. But it's also Hens's because he was born in Phoenix, so I guess maybe I should leave it for him. Sorry when you're editing this Hens. <laughs> So I'm going to stop videoing right now, I'm going to fold everything up, I'm going to count everything I kept and everything I'm getting rid of, and we will compare. So see you in a second. So 34 that I'm keeping versus 51 that I'm getting rid of. So yeah. I had over 80 clothes when I came that I dragged from my house across town to the apartment. So I think that's pretty successful. I will be dropping this off at the shelter tomorrow and I'll be putting all my clothes away tonight. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. It was mostly me just talking to the camera this time. But next we'll have coming up, we're doing the interfaith Q&A between me and Hence, which should be more exciting because Hence will actually be here next week. And so I'll be putting that on my Instagram. That's it for today. Until next time, guys, I want to say stay safe. COVID sucks. Trust me. If you've had COVID, go donate plasma. Save people's lives. And until then, toodles.